Wales. CBS News contributor Simon Bates takes a closer look in today's London Calling. And as always, a reminder, Simon's opinions don't necessarily reflect everybody at CBS News. Here in Britain, it was the week when the government wobbled, then came out fighting. Now, just think of all our problems. Inflation is rising fast. Energy prices are almost out of control. The cost of living is spiralling, and there's a war on the continent of Europe, which is hiking food prices. Apart from that, things are great. But here in the old country, we put it all to one side as our attention turned to a series of parties held unlawfully at the Prime Minister's workplace during lockdown. And all this at a time when the rest of us were confined to our homes. It has become a huge scandal, known predictably as Partygate. This week, it came to a head with the publication of a senior civil servants report that confirmed the worst. There were regular parties at 10 Downing Street during lockdown, as shown in these redacted pictures, with alcohol flowing freely, so freely that at least one person vomited. One night, a karaoke machine was brought in. On another, the last person left the building at 20 minutes past four in the morning. Red wine was found spilled down a wall, nobody wore a mask, and there was no sign of social distancing. All pretty unattractive stuff, and all unlawful. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he was appalled by this behaviour, insisted he'd known nothing of the excesses, and urged the country to move on. But what if we have another emergency, and the government instructs us to isolate? Will anyone be listening? Is there any trust left in this administration? Meantime, on Thursday, our Treasury Secretary announced a bold government rescue package aimed at fortifying the nation's wallets. Every household will receive the equivalent of $500 to help with energy bills, with more for the poorest and for our veterans. It'll partially be financed by a windfall tax on the energy companies. In all, the package amounts to $26 billion. You could say it's money well spent. After all, who's talking about Partygate now? That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon. We are going to take a short break, but now is a good time to remind you that you can stay up to date by downloading our CBS News app. Stay with us. You're streaming CBS News, always on. CBS News.